Welcome back to Your Voice. Spring is in the air as the Jashne Bahara Spring Festival, hosted by Music Waves, was in full swing at the Edison Hotel in New Jersey. We'll see how fashion and entertainment came together at this special event. We got a chance to chat up some of those in attendance to hear their experiences at the festival. Everyone is having a great time, so you guys enjoy it. I want to thank Sahara One for coming and covering this event. It's a great program for Music Wave. And it's a great place for a lot of people. It's a great place for a lot of people. It's a great place for a lot of people. It's a great place for our Pakistan. There's no difference between who is Pakistan and who is Hindi. It's all the same, mashallah. It was a beautiful show, beautiful event with beautiful performances from ages 7 up and I just had such a wonderful time here. The most important thing is that here in Jashne Bara function, all the stalls and stalls have been kept in place. There has been a lot of entertainment here, so where there are local dance schools, there have been performances here. तो लोगों को एंटरटेनमेंट मिला है, शॉपिंग के लिए एक जगह अच्छी जगह मिली है और साथ साथ खाने पीने का भी बंदोबस्त है तो you can spend the whole day over here। आज हम यहाँ पर आए हैं जश्न बहारा फेस्टिवल है और यहाँ पर under one roof आपको सब मिल सकता है अपने कॉस्ट्यूम्स, अपने मनपसंद ड्रेसेस ओक्री रोड पे गर्म गर्मी में ठंडी में एक दूसरे दुकानों से जाने से यहाँ सारी दुकानें नीचे आई हैं और डिजाइनर चॉइसेस के कपड़े हैं आई थिंक इट इस ब्यूटीफुल People couldn't get enough of the fashion and merchandise at the festival. They were later entertained by talented Pakistani singer Haider Ali. We're currently at the show and it's going great. Um, a lot of people have came earlier. There was a show this morning. A lot of little kids performed. It was spectacular. I see Sarish at Jashni Bahara and um, it's a lot of fun here. There's a lot of clothing. There's people. There's some famous people here performing over there and. Um, it's a lot of fun, there's food and stuff as well. Now, if you're ready to tie the knot with that special someone, you'll really enjoy the next segment. The Nasib Wedding Show in Toronto, Ontario, Canada recently showed their guests the latest in South Asian wedding fashions, as well as how to stay within your budget and still have a rocking wedding. Let's check it out. Let's see what everyone's checking out at these stalls and get a good look ourselves. And we'll even hear from the organizer and the vendor themselves. I'm standing here with Shazia Khan, the main organizer of the Naseeb Wedding Show. Shazia, how are you doing? Oh, very happy. Great. <laughs> 
I, I see there's a great turnout here. So how are you finding it? It's been three years now, and I think uh, it's improving every year. So are you happy with the response from this year? We're very happy. We actually had three other partners, Shazia Warsi, Madiha Malik, and Mayra Khurram. And you know what? I think this was the best year so far yeah. for us. Yeah, we're very happy. What are some of the comments that you've received from people? You know what? It's incredible. Like Everyone is so positive. Vendors are happy. Really? The vendors are happy. We're happy because yeah. they're selling. They're happy. They will, And they're asking us, when are you doing it next year? When are you doing it next year? So we're happy. Very happy. I'm just really proud of all the efforts of uh, Shazia Khan, Shazia Warsi, Maya Khurram, and myself. And uh, all's well that ends well. We are overwhelmed with the res response. And it's phenomenal. We, we don't have words. We are so thankful to Toronto for people who are making such an effort to come out to our show. And uh, I'm really thankful. You know, it's not enough. You know, we're really grateful to the, uh, you know, it's the people yeah. who make your show successful. So we are really um, thankful and grateful to the entire Toronto and people who made it to the show. It's uh, really surprising how many people actually showed up. We did not expect this turnout. We were actually quite skeptical of the show uh, being, I think it's their third year. Yeah. So we were very hesitant on booking. But yeah, it's been a great crowd, um, very nice people. Uh, we, took, we got lots of CDs given out, um, and yeah, it's been great. And as if that all wasn't enough, the evening ended with a runway bang as top designers flaunted their latest fashions. On the line, two very special guests, Mr. Hemant Patel, Chairman of AHOA, and Laura Lee Blake, Vice President and Fair Franchising and Government Affairs and General Counsel of AHOA. Uh, Mr. Patel, Laura, welcome to our show. Thank you. So we understand that there's a new franchising legislation that's been introduced in California, and AHOA is, a strong, is strongly supporting this. Can uh, the both of you tell us a little bit about this legislation? Yes, it is the level playing field for small business act of 2012 also. AB 2305 Assembly Bill. This bill was introduced by Assembly Member Jared Huffman and it requires franchisors to be fair with franchises and deal in good faith. That's good for everyone and we support fair franchising and this will be a major change if it's passed. So is there a particular reason why AHO is supporting this legislation? Um, the current franchisee-franchisor relationship is one where a small business owner is required to negotiate with a large corporate franchisor who might have unlimited resources. And this results in one-sided relationship. Many of our AHOA members have faced an unbalanced relationship, and it's time for a change. Um, we support this proposed legislation because it would create common sense, balanced guidelines. Let me just give you a couple few examples. For example, they would require everyone to have a contractual term in their agreements that they would have to operate in good faith. Now that's fair. There would also be a reasonable notice periods if someone was in default 
and they'd have 60 days to cure the default so their franchise wouldn't be terminated. Again, that's very fair. These are the types of provisions that we are in support of. So is, um, aside from AHOA, do you know of anybody else that's supporting this? Yes, uh, there are a couple of other organizations also supporting this cause, the FA Coalition of Franchise, the association which, which comprises of subway franchises and kindonor franchises and many Kimbukler and other fast food franchises, and AAFD. And those are the two strong uh, advocacy groups for franchisee business owners, and they are, uh, they are supporting it also. Okay, and is anyone opposing this? Yes, there are some major opponents to this bill, um, several large companies, franchisors, along with a group called IFA, the International Franchisee Association. Um, and opponents are suggesting that this legislation is unnecessary and that California law already governs the franchisor-franchisee relationship. But the laws that are in place deal with more um, information before a franchisee signs for the franchise, and it includes prohibitions against fraud. But the complex nature of the franchisee relationship really requires additional consideration. This legislation, AB 2305, puts into place the most basic fair practices that really should be agreeable to all reasonable parties. What is AHOA doing to support the important legislation? Support this legislation, AHOA uh, is actually working in gathering letters of support uh, uh, towards this bill. Uh, we're going to host a town hall meeting on 16th April, which is Monday, in Sacramento. We are scheduling a meeting with SM assembly members on 17th, attend a hearing. So we will put our utmost best effort in rallying our membership uh, in support of this bill, and this will be a major change. Sounds great. So this is open to the public, basically? Uh, it's, a, it's a town hall meeting for our, our members, but obviously as we are uh, supporting other organizations called CF, NEF, AFD, so we expect some folks that that group might so will be probably coming up to our event also. Okay. Yes, and just we are also strongly encouraging anybody that has an interest in this bill. If they're a franchisee, they don't have to be a hotel franchisee. If they're a franchisee of 7-Eleven or convenience stores, restaurants, any franchisee that has an interest in promoting fairness, you know, join us at the town hall, join us at the hearings, bring your employees. Um, we are just encouraging strong support for this because it's time for a change. Great. Well, we'd like to wish you all the luck. And um, on behalf of Sahara, we'd like to thank you, Mr. Patel and uh, Laura, for being on the show and um, making everyone aware of this upcoming legislation. We're going to take just one more short break, but don't go far. We've got a lot of exciting art for you on the other side of the break.